Hello everyone, this is HB. Today we're going to be playing a little Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Indiana Jones is back in the theater, so I was feeling a little bit nostalgic. This was one of my favorite games when I was a kid. Indiana Jones, those movies were some of my favorites. Um, my brother and I, we love this game. It came out in, uh, I think it was 1992. I looked up before um, firing this up. Um, got it the same day my family got our first PC. It was a Packard Bell 386. We got it at Best Buy. Um, came on five and a quarter inch floppy disks. Um, actually, we're playing the talkie version here. So here in a second. All right, Jones. How are you going to find that statue and all this junk? Yeah, so I own two versions of this uh, in my life. Uh, five and a quarter version, still have both of them in a box. <laughs> and then a CD-ROM talkie version, which actually I bought that at EB Games. Um, get a little nostalgic just thinking about shopping for big, big box PC games back then too. But uh, yeah, so let's let's jump right in here. I love the uh, this start for a LucasArts game. I love how there's they, they don't have the, the HUD or anything up yet. Uh, we can choose the, the verbs. Gargoyle, or good imitation. Thought this was a really cool way the to start the game. Egyptian statue of Horus. Get you eased in a little bit with the controls and kind of style of gameplay. It's a stone carving of Shiva. So I know the. Uh, it's some kind of funeral urn. Let's click on this guy and we'll fall down to the next level. Oof. It's been a while since I played this game, so I'm probably not going to remember all the puzzles, too. Um, I was thinking, too, about maybe a third of the way through, you have to choose one of three paths. Um, there's, like, an action path, fists, a wits path, where you're solo, and then a team's path, where you're with uh, Sophia, who you meet um, in a little bit here. So. The label says, unidentified potsherds. Thinking I'll either go with the wits or the team. Um, Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. If you have a preference, maybe leave that in the comments and I'll uh, <laughs> it'll sway my decision. I don't think I'm going to do the fist path. I feel like that was the least exciting version of the game. I'm just going to let these uh, credits play out. Yeah, so 1992, this was one of the first games we bought for the PC. Um, i trying to think of some of the other ones we picked up. I know we picked up this Clue game, which I still have two I was looking at. I think there was a Sierra pack that had goblins and um, a Robin Hood game. I think it was Conquest of the Longbow. Uh, but yeah, this was one of my one of my favorites. My brother and I played the death uh, played this game to death um for <laughs> for years you know before all you had was the hint line and stuff back then that you'd have to pay two bucks an hour or something to get hints so it took us forever to get through this game these books don't look familiar uh oh sorry Andy. it's having uh. a bad day i can see Keep this book guy in mind up here too. That that may play a role later. It's actually kind of an interesting. Uh, when you come back, uh, you come back to your college to find something, and actually get that roof checked. The book you're looking for could be in one of like four places, and that's one of them right there. So, right, anything we can click on here? Just the cats. All right, here we go. Possibly an ancient Mesopotamian cat god. <laughs> I love that part. Doug Lee. I don't have Harrison Ford, but he Doug Lee does a good job. For sure. All the voices in this game are great. So I love the art in this game too. It's just fantastic. It's hot. Alright, I think we just click these lockers. No matter what order you click, it's always in the last one. I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. Scum story system. I'm used to, I love this I'm used system in these LucasArts games. I don't know if they... 
it's the thing that blends the music together between scenes and uh yeah i don't know if, if uh they assume they have a lot more advanced versions of that but it was always very noticeable in these lucas arts games i'm back indy you don't look at all well dr Charles. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doc. But I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think... I don't know if that's supposed to be Marcus, but that definitely doesn't sound like Marcus. <laughs> then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is fake? <laughs> got his jacket. Gotta be something good in there. He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What is the spy one with the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant, a spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. Where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. <laughs> Good line. All right, here we are in New York. Go see Madame Sophia's show. All right, so this is another. There's a lot of these in this game where you can choose to approach problems different ways. So, um, I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. <laughs> he closes himself in. Um, so we've got a. There's a bouncer. So you can, actually there's three different ways you can do this. I'm trying to think which one I want to do. There's one where you can push these crates and climb up the ladder. There's one where you um, have to actually fight the bouncer. And there's one where you um, basically, I think, sweet talk him. So um, yeah, why don't we talk to the bouncer? He's kind of an interesting character. Mm, it's unlocked. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. <laughs> I think this last one almost just goes straight into a fight. Let me and you Darwinian nightmare. I'm here to enjoy Madam's outrageous orations. This ain't that kind of show. All right, of course not. She's a oh, serious thinker. Madam Sophia is a I think this guy thinker. likes Sophia, so. Don't kid around, pal. You're talking about my yep. idol. <laughs> my idol. Uh, I think she's the no greatest. Kidding. I think she's the greatest. Me too. There's something about her. 
She's very smart. Yeah, she's very smart. Smart? Okay. <laughs> you know what I really like? It's the way she... She... The way she makes things easy to understand. I think that's what we want to say. The way she makes things easy to, to understand? Convince this guy to let us in. That's it. All that smart stuff seems so easy when I'm listening to her. Say, you're okay for a college boy. Come on in. There you go. All right, and talk to this guy too. Excuse me. Aha! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. Biff. Let's see. Call, Call that, that fraud, fraud over, over here. here. You? You're insulting a goddess, mister. That goddess used to be a scientist. She can talk to ghosts, you know. Who needs science? All right, I'm just going to try to walk hey! out. You can't go out there. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. <laughs> Sure can. All right. Hey, she's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. She's got quite a, uh, quite a crowd in here. Or perhaps it was a volcanic eruption and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. I don't think I can walk Hold out on. anymore. She's still talking. Okay. Yeah, let's talk to him. Excuse me. Convince him to get the heck out yeah, of here. What now? You look tired. Wouldn't you like to call it a day? Nah, sooner or later I get to run the ghost out there. That's always a big <coughs> moment. Oh, excuse me. All right. I think you just give him the newspaper. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? I've got a newspaper here. So you do. Aren't you wondering about events of the day? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> How'd you like today's newspaper? <laughs> See, I thought this guy was well, easier well, to, edition, to convince. Oh, yeah, the there you go. One. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Yes, sir. I got this. All right. We just have to make these lights green, if I remember. Yellow. Let's see. Push left lever. Push button. Here we go. Go, Narab Sal. There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through. Uh. May I present Narab Sal? The great Atlantean god of... of... Deceit. Deceit. Thanks, Cindy. Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones! You've got some nerve. <laughs> Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. 
Oh, great. <laughs> Don't know why that happened. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. Yeah, like I said, I love the art in these uh, LucasArts games. There's no one here. Definitely stands the test of time. Nor here either. <clears throat> Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. We found the treasure we see. I'm trying to remember how much of a role Klaus Kerner That's the second time Kerner plays in this away. game. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? Let's see. A few atoms won't even Come on, a light few a atoms match. won't even light a match. Of course not. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Mm -hmm. Yet you've been dealing goods on the black market. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. <laughs> what do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Near Absal again? Did you see that? Can't shake that yeah, guy. creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? <laughs> that was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Suppose I gave this Aura Calcum business any credence, which I don't. You may, you may have just used the last bead. Hope not. Shh. I'm getting something. Nurab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. If Plato wrote it, later authors would have reported it. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Why Iceland? Why not Florida, where it's warm? Maybe the Atlanteans didn't like tourists. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Let's go. They do some serious globe trotting in this game. That's why it such a great Indiana Jones story too. They should have made this the the next movie.
I think I'm going to go, I don't know, the Dial of Destiny, it's been getting okay reviews. I think I'm going to go see it this weekend, but my expectations aren't through the roof, that's for sure, so... Dr. Heimdall. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Go away. It's always so hard to choose the dialogue in these games because there's so many good options and you, you're always sad you miss stuff, so... Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it? Ha! Huh. After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? Let's ask Sophia. I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. Forget it. I'll just tell you. <laughs> they were stopped by a force field put here by beings not of this earth. Hmm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are cut to the chase. Such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philippe Costa in the Azores Islands. As a researcher, he's a fart, but he's a sharp tracer. Uh, let's see anything else. Well, why did these I'll ask him one more thing. Here. I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a spaceport. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Right, the Yastro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Recently I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. Go ahead, blame it all on me. All right, let's see. How how in the weeds do I want to get on the spaceports? All right, gotta find let's those move other on. Spaceports. Good luck, fellow believer. All right, so now we got two more places to go: the the Azores and um, Tikal. I think we'll maybe try to get through both of those. Um, before we stop part one here. Let's head for the airport. And I can't remember how long this game is, if it's roughly... Let's go to Tikal first. Um... I think if you know all the puzzles, it's not terribly long, but... All right, so I remember this puzzle took me and my brother a long time to figure out. I almost feel like we got him in the right... Basically, you just have to get this... Actually, hold on a second. Can I... I want to see if I can actually walk out here. No? Oh, now he's... Okay, so this is actually the one you want to get him. That little jungle rodent. Let me walk through here quick. So there's a snake on a tree. So <laughs> here's our parrot friend. Um, let me say use tree, not not giant anaconda. Oh, come on, use tree. There we go. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near that snake. Poor Indy. Doesn't like snakes. All right, so you got to get the the rodent here, and then you use your whip, and then he he goes out that exit, and basically the snake gets him. So, let's see if we can get him back there. All right, he's back at the right spot again. All right, Indy. All right, 
right, let's see if I can just use whip. If I can get him from, nope. Oh, I can't. That maybe? critter's too far away. All right, let me see. Where does this bring? Hold on. Nope. Try this. Does this just go out towards Sophia? Okay. All right, I don't want to scare him away. All right, let me try walking here again. Use whip. Here we go. Get the little indie theme song. Let's you know you did something right. Good old Mother Nature. <laughs> yeah, you got that right, Indy. Now we can use the tree snake free. Wow, some bridge. Hi, Indy. <laughs> I forgot about that. She just walks around. Hello. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Let's look around. Okay. All right, so I kind of remember what to do here, but I think let's start by talking to the parrot. Echo. Echo. All right, nothing, nothing exciting there. I'm going to try to steal some of this guy's trinkets. And I think he comes out and yells at me. A kerosene lamp we Just need for sure. At some That's point. My shop. Can I help you with something? Postcards? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir mugs? Uh, no thanks, mister. Charles Dernhardt, PhD. Independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Klaus is always one step ahead. I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy, you're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. What can you tell us about the temple? Rumors have it that the temple was built by survivors of Atlantis. Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. <laughs> Actually, it was the name of a dog. <laughs> Sophia! <laughs> I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. I don't know the title. Plato! You're no student of Atlantis, then. All right. Now you can get the title from the parrot. Title? Hermocrates! A friend of Socrates! That probably took me and my brother four weeks to figure out. Stop! I'm begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. Listen. Yes? About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. See, there was no Google back then. You had to, had to uh, ask Democracy. parrots for your facts. That's it. That's it. Ah! Well, now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. 
Looks like it could use a nose. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Sophia, let's talk. What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak right, to we're you. We're going to go steal his kerosene lamp. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. So, you took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable! Now I got it. Marvelous! It fits perfectly. Like now elephant. it looks kind of like an elephant. All right. Amazing. I remember, I think we got stuck Look at that. on this a part for a long time, figuring that out, if I recall. Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king! Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone. At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Wait! Oh no, he got away! Yeah, we got one more shiny bead. Too bad for Sternhardt. He missed the Oracalcum bead. I don't look at this guy too. Who knows? Maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. Yeah, I can't remember if I can like pick up this. It won't come out. Okay. Ooh, secret door. Let's look at that. It's almost invisible. Can I open it? I know I can't, but it won't budge. <laughs> All right, let's head out. If I recall correctly, I think we just go back to Iceland now. Because now that we have that bead, we can use that on the next step. Let's find the airport. Maybe you have to stop in the Azores first. We'll find out. Pimdal still alive? Nope, he's dead. Too bad, he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. It looks like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. I have one bead. Well, luckily I have a bead to put in the eel's it head. It perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. All right, now we're going to the Azores. We got something to trade. Let's head for the airport. I can't remember what's back in New York, why you can go back there. Hmm, I don't remember. Maybe that's your college. No, I think your college shows up separately. Hmm. This is his house? This is it. Mr. Costa? Keep your shirt on. Be firm, but polite. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. <laughs> Do you have a bathroom in there I can use? I'm going to say that Do just because that's awesome. Do you have a bathroom awesome. in there I can use? 
Yes and no. Now go away. <laughs> nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. All right. I think you do need Sophia to talk Mr. to him. Costa? You again? What do you want? I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Indiana, what kind of stupid name is that? I don't want to hear a word. Hmm. He's catching a lot of grief for his name. All right, let's have Sophia give it a shot. Excuse me. Yes? Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. Oopsie, that not work. Mr. Costa! This better be important. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. My friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. Actually, he's named after Keep it going, keep it going. Sophia. See? Hmm, I see. What can you tell us about Plato's lost dialogue? What do you want to know? Do you know what's in it? Nope. Can you get it for me? Nope. Do you have it? Not exactly. Have you read it? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. Oh. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. He's a sweet old guy. <laughs> Trade, huh? Excuse me. Yes? I think you better take over. Okay, I'll give it a try. All you have to do is give him a rare Atlantean artifact. That's not a tall ask at all. Luckily, I happen to have one. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Um, let's talk a trade. Let's talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, He is mysterious. Mr. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Sprague Collection, got that? I think so, the Sprague Collection. Very good, nice doing business with you. The Sprague Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Sprague Collection. Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. Corner, at last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided? What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You got Uberman and the you fool. You come close back to together show me now. This, this, this prehistoric knickknack? 
Herr Doktor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal plate called Aurecalcum! Look here, concealed in the base is this small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never guess. We must test. My God. The energy of uranium without any radioactivity! And those smug American scientists know nothing! That gives me an idea! Suppose I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth. Don't do it! <laughs> you saw that? <laughs> I wanna know where that thing went. Just causing chaos out in the yard now. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Carter. Think big like the Americans. Think of bomb. Dun dun dun. All right, we gotta find the Sprague collection. So I mentioned at the start, there's like he can mention, I think four different collections and they're in four different places so i don't know where the sprag is but we'll so why are you dragging me in here plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere we'll find it need some help yes please it's scary in here save the sarcasm jones i'll meet you in <laughs> your office all right well hey i think that's where I'm going to stop part one. Um, when we pick this back up in part two, we will find the lost dialogue of Plato. I'm trying to remember if that's, that might almost be the point where you have to decide wits or uh, team or fists. So, hey, if you enjoyed this, give this a thumbs up. Um, would love that. It'll help get this video out. There's probably a lot of people playing Fate of Atlantis with the new Indiana Jones movie out there. Feeling a little... A little bit nostalgic like me wanted to go back and uh, give this another try um leave me leave a comment tell me uh tell me which uh, path you think we should take um consider subscribing and most importantly come back uh, soon for part two i'll try to get that posted within a day or two uh here so thanks again for watching i'm Hag baby and we'll uh catch y'all soon